Hello, today we are still using data visualiz visualization or exploring it and we have gone through, if I remember correctly, Matplotlib and Seaborn already and now we are going to explore some Pandas data vis visualization built-ins so it's built-in within Pandas and yep, let's, let's do it so I will change the name of our data frame to not be df3 but actually df because I'm used to df so we are going to execute these columns these commands and we are going to start so here we have as, as usual we have to replicate this plot given here and now we are going to do that using pandas built, built in features okay so recreate the scatter plot of B versus A. Know the color and size of the points, also know the figure size. See if you can figure out how to stretch in a similar fashion because it is stretched in the graph. Okay. So it's not going to to appear exactly the same as this one because we are using a different version and it's going to be similar but definitely not the same one. Okay, so let's do it and to do so we are going to use our data frame and we are going to call dot plot dot scatter this is the usual way you would do you would call a plot uh, as a built-in pandas so we have our data frame which is built-in pandas and we're calling um, plots out of it or off of it so df plot dot scatter and then we have our parameters here so x is going to be equals to a and y is equal to b as you can see and what else we have color so color we can either see uh, we can either type c or color i will type c now the color is red the size well let's see what we have here yeah so this is this is bigger Let's increase size to, I don't know, to 30, let's see. Well, quite similar already, maybe 40. Okay. And what else do we have? The figure size, so the name of the parameter is fig size, and it passes as a tuple. The first one is related to the to the this uh, measure here so I don't know the length maybe or the width ah. anyway it's uh, this one horizontal uh, size and the second parameter is the or, or, um, vertical size okay so fig size is equal let's say 12 and 3 okay so this Yes, this is right. This is the same thing. Even though it is not because of it, that's because of the version. By the way, ju just give me a second because uh, I I used a different style before and we shouldn't be getting this gray area behind the dots, so I have to restart my kernel. I'll pause the video to do that. Okay, so I restarted my kernel and I actually it took like 20 seconds or so. I just came here and I press restart and executed these commands again. Okay, so now we have something quite similar. It's not equal because of the version. Um, okay, create a histogram of the column A. So let's select column A like this and call plot.hist and let's see okay same thing these plots are okay but they don't look very polished use style sheets to set the style to ggplot and we do the histogram from above okay so let's do this let's forget about this right now and let's just uh, play around with bins let's say 30 too much right maybe 20 to, to fill 25 yeah 25 is good 
and also now this style you actually have I'll look at my cheat sheet because I have my reference there you actually have a website that you can go this one and you can see is this the, s the website that I'm looking for S maybe oh yes is there one called ggplot over here no but we do have different styles I is is that the name of the style I wonder so let's try let's try this one um, solarize light to let's try that we have to type what do we have to type set style plt dot style dot use and what was it solarize rise light let's try yep it worked so which style this one <laughs> it's supposed to be ggplot but I can't see Oh, here it is, ggplot. So that's how you change styles, and you have that reference website to do it. You can see that we have plenty of styles here. Okay, let's keep going. We can see also that alpha here, like the transparency, is lower, so let's change here as well. Alpha is about maybe 0 0.5. Did I type? Yeah. Alpha. dead kernel what happened <laughs> I pressed oh, let's execute it again I pressed I I the in my keyboard that's supposed to interrupt the kernel not to restart it but anyway let's ex execute the codes again and here we are okay it's the same but different version create a box plot comparing the column the A and B columns okay so to do that we call DF and we select the A column and B column and we call dot plot dot box I think that's it yep this one haven't changed much uh, KDE plot of column D so DF D dot plot dot KDE is that it takes yeah that's it and we can actually call density it's the same same method but density works for the whole data set and I don't think KDE works for the whole data set oh it works oh it's the same thing then okay good to know but here we are dealing with only the column D what else oh Figure, figure out how to increase the line width and make the line cell dashed note you would not <laughs> okay so let's do it and line width you can either type it as line width or you can type only LW and pass the line width let's say I don't know 5 5 looks good and line style can also be typed as ls and that's dashed like this okay so it is the same thing but this is older this is the new version yeah so like if i typed this like i don't know maybe five years ago i would get if i type if i type this i would get this instead of this as 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 i typed like maybe five years after this plot has been done yeah then I get actually this plot here which is the same thing but a different version okay create an area plot of the columns for just the rows up to 30 okay so to select a specific range of rows we have gone through that already but you use iloc and we specify here we specify the rows so everything up to 30 and 
so that's that includes 0 to 29 and uh, uh, all the all the columns okay and we call what is it it's area plot so plot area okay and here alpha is changed so let's change alpha here as well alpha, alpha equals 0 0.5 it's a little bit less okay anyway quite quite similar bonus challenge so yeah. so there is a way here we can see that this legend here is like how did you call it overlapping overlapping the graph and we want to make it go to the side of the plot instead of showing up overlapping the graph so to do it we are going to use the same command here and he gave us a, a hint actually when I when I tried to search for this command on Google I got in the same website as the hint goes but you have to let me try to remember you have to do well I am not I will not be able to remember but you have to do something like plt dot something then you pass here center or center left I believe or something like that and the other ones and uh, maybe it's going to be a tuple uh, specifying that it should appear this number makes it appear t to to this side and 0 0.5 goes to 0 0.5 to the middle of the graph, but I I will actually open the hint in my here to my side is actually a stack overflow link, and we you can grab this code over here and use it. So this is the code plt dot so legend it's lock equals center left and type it bb box to anchor like this so let's try again oh I think let me see the goal center left and there is, there is no dash okay so what if we change this to center right <laughs> I don't know but it goes to the left what if we change this to I don't know 0 0.5 it should appear in the middle lane yeah and if we change the left again it goes to the right <laughs> uh, at least my perspective right? so let's keep left and 1.0 which is the correct value and there we go we have the same the same plot and that's it that's all for pandas built-in plotting exercises bye bye